Hello everyone, this is Jennifer, your services librarian in Women Public Library. How are you guys today? Welcome to STEAM Lab. For today, we're going to do an activity called Sheep Art using simple materials like scissors, paper, glue, and ruler. So those are the only materials that you need and hopefully uh, if these are the very uh, simple materials that you can find at home. And uh, using the concept of positive and negative spaces, we're going to create very cool, uh, pa colorful patterns using the papers. I hope you have fun with it. And when you're ready, I'm going to start. These are the materials that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use pencil, ruler, glue, and two sheets of paper. So you can use any colors, uh, any color paper you can find at home. And uh, one of the paper should be in this smaller square shape. And I already cut this out. And so today we're gonna use a negative and positive space to create a beautiful and uh, interesting patterns. Positive space is the space that you actually can see. The negative space is there, but you can see it, but it's not there. So it's pretty much an empty space. Okay, so to start this, I'm gonna flip this paper and I'm gonna use this white side to draw the shapes that I wanna draw. So you can draw any shapes you want and I'm gonna start with the square. And I'm gonna draw a circle. So as you can see, I only drew half of circle and half of square. So in order to do this, on the edges, you draw half of the shape like these so and later we're gonna cut it out to make a full shape so this side I'm gonna draw a hexagon which have six side I'm gonna draw a hexagon and I'm gonna draw ellipse ellipse is a longer um, narrower shape of a circle so I'm gonna draw half of ellipse and I'm gonna cut these shapes out. As you can see, all the shapes are cut out and put it on a black paper. And you can see all these negative spaces right here. Look right here, these negative spaces. So using these negative spaces and these positive shapes, I'm going to create interesting patterns. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, place each half of the shapes on the spot, on the right spot. So this half of circle goes, the other, goes next to the other half of circle. And this half of square goes back here. Yeah, I think this might be the spot. Like that. And this goes back here, the ellipse goes here, a little more, and half of hexagon goes here. Okay, so now you can see the use of negative spaces and the positive spaces. And when we combine, when we combine negative and positive space together, it creates interesting patterns, like as you can see. And I think this uh, glitter paper and black paper goes uh, go well together. Yeah, so in, this is very interesting uh, piece that you can create using these different shapes and the concept of positive negative spaces. I created another one with different shapes. So as you can see, you can uh, create any shapes. I hope you uh, explore using different papers and different colors and different shapes at home to create this interesting work. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye guys.